Hey lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, I'll be showing you guys how I do my wash day routine. As you can see, this is how my hair looks right now. It is a little bit dry, like crazy looking. But you want to get you a shirt that you're okay with messing up and getting like conditioner and stuff on. And then the products you will need will be a spray bottle, um, some detangling pre-poo basically conditioner, two brushes, I have one of that's like easier for me to detangle and then the one that's for drying my hair, and then hair ties. The first thing that you want to do is section your hair into four to six sections. I normally do six just so I'm not detangling too much hair at one time. You want to work in small sections so it's detangled thoroughly and when you go to wash your hair it's not still matted or anything like that. Okay, now that we have our first section ready, we're going to basically drench the section in water and we're going to get that thoroughly coated in water so when we put the pre-poo in, it's easier for the brush and stuff to run through. We're going to take about three fingers worth of pre-poo to start off with and we're just going to thoroughly comb that through that section of hair and I will add more just so there is enough product. You can never have too much pre-poo. The more you have, the more slick your hair will be and the easier it will be for you to actually detangle your hair, especially if you have 4C hair, which is harder to detangle. So now that you have your hair thoroughly coated in the pre-poo, we're going to take our fingers and we're just going to start detangling and getting out the bigger knots. I honestly just started doing this recently and it has helped me not spend so much time using the brush to detangle my hair. It also prevents a lot of fallout and a lot of hair coming out as I'm running my fingers through it. It's literally only a little bit like a tiny amount of hair coming out compared to when I use the brush and just only use the brush. Now we are going to take the brush and start from the ends and work our way up to the root of my hair and we're going to do this for every section and if we need to we're going to add more pre-poo if you feel like it's not slippery enough. So yeah, we're just going to do that and I'll let you guys watch me detangle this section of my hair. After it is detangled, we're just going to put it into a braid. I'm just going to separate my hair in three sections, obviously, and then braid down. And then we're going to move on to the next section after we finish this. Now all I'm doing is doing the rest of my head and breaking that up into three sections or two sections and then in the same process and yeah I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this little process and then I'll get back to you guys once my whole head is done. Okay, now that we have my whole head done, I have six plaits in total, you're going to move on to shampooing and conditioning my hair. I'm going to take the shampoo and conditioner of your choice, these are the ones that I'm using. And I don't have any clips for you guys, but this is my hair after it is shampooed and conditioned. And as you can see, it's pretty dry, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my Cantu, I think, hydrating mask hair mask and yeah we're going to just put that on my hair i'll show you guys how i do it you want to make sure that the hair that you're working with is slightly damp and not super dry and not super wet and you just want to take about the same amount as pre was used and comb that through each section that you braided Like, but he blowing her back Think about me cause he know that it's fat yeah. And he 
As you can see, I did add a little more. I just wanted it to be thoroughly coated and make sure I have enough product on my hair because my hair is dry and it soaks up moisture like really fast. Then you are going to braid that section down and basically just repeat the process on all other five sections of your hair. So I am finished with the first two sections of my hair and I will get back to you guys once I finish my whole head. Now that my whole head is done, we're just going to take a plastic bag, like a shopping bag. You can use a shower cap as well, but we did not have any more. And I'm just going to tie that up and then we're going to set a timer for 30 minutes. I did do a little bit more than 30 minutes just because I was helping my sister with something, but that is totally fine. Now that we have washed the mask out of my hair and it's been a little bit over an hour, this is how my hair looks and we're just going to blow dry it. I took my blow dryer, I don't know what type of blow dryer it is, it's my mom's. I'm just going to put the comb attachment on and we're going to section our hair off into the same six sections and basically work from the ends to the roots. Don't forget your heat protecting guys, I forget that and it can really damage your hair. I start off basically by holding the end and stretching it and letting it that part dry for a little bit and then we're going to just use the comb attachment and slowly work from the ends to the roots and try to get as close to the roots as possible so my hair is actually fully dry and fully detangled because that's where most of the water is going to sit. Okay lovely, so this is the end of today's video. This is the first time I am speaking in this video. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Renaya and I post lots of content, just like different things. Most of the time I post lifestyle, um, self-care, and beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My mom, she helped me blow dry the rest of it and then she also cut off the orange ends because they're basically dead ends. So now it looks much more healthy and everything and even though it's a little shorter it's not too much shorter i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you basically come up with your own wash day routine and let me know if you guys like the voiceover videos better or if you like me talking in the video better i'll see you guys in the next video bye